Foodies, it's me David again and this time I'm going to take you through a very useful pocket organizer app called Trello. This is an app that organizes and allows you to share the projects with people and also allows them to update the status task from time to time. Let's just get straight into it. So we're going to go check out Trello which I just downloaded off the Google Play Store. So here are the plus sign on the top, you can add a board name, so let's start there. So I'm just going to trouble a friend by calling it Karan Baby. And I'm going to create that. So now I have a board called Karan Baby. Okay. So I'm going to add a card over here on the to-do section and call it Eat. Now I can even modify the... I'm going to call it Eat at 7. But I can even modify the name to-do on top. It doesn't necessarily have to be called to-do. You can have it as anything you want. So I've added that. So now I have a card on the to-do list called eat at seven. On doing, I'm gonna call it shooting because that's what I'm doing right now. So I have a card on shooting because that's what I'm doing right now. And on done, I am going to say, yeah, I've had lunch just now. So there we go. So now I have to do, doing and done and I can add another list if I want to depending upon whatever I want. So for now it's just to do, done doing and to do. So let's just edit that particular card. So I have eat at seven. I'm going to edit the eat at seven card so I can add a comment over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit the card description and I'm going to call it just for kicks, I guess, yeah. That sounds good enough. And on the comment section, I'm just gonna put in hello isn't too bad. Yeah, hello should be good. <laughs> this is just to show you guys exactly what you can do on this. You can type in whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, just click on the, uh, the plus button at the bottom of the screen and you can add in a label. And you can name the label and add a color. So I'm gonna pick red and name it as food. I'm going to call it food and tick mark that and click done. So now this card is labeled red and called food. So there you have it. So on your home screen you have a to do eat at seven with the red line at the top. So now on doing I'm going to click on the edit the card description and call it shooting or actually I'll call it work. I'm going to save that and I'm going to forget about the command. I won't add a command this time, but I'm going to add a label again. This time a different color and a different name. So I'm going to give it green and call it work. I'm going to tick mark the green. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. So just click done. And now this card has a green label. Amongst my options, I have like a little clock option there, so I can set a due date or I can set a particular time by which this should be done, like today, tomorrow or next week. But I'm going to set it at, as today because that's what I'm doing right now. So there you have it, the card will also show you the time over there on the top on your homepage. So here are my done section which is called lunch. Over here I'm going to do a little something else, I'm going to edit this card first, I'm going to call it... Um, done stuff I guess so on the checklist I'm gonna add this time amongst my options and save that so in my card I have a checklist section and over here I can put in a whole bunch of things that I haven't done or aim to do in a particular space of time so for instance like I can add things that I ate during lunch or aim to eat during lunch so today I had beef sandwiches but I've already done that so I'm just gonna put it in so I can click done I can take it so that it's a done thing so I've eaten beef sandwiches today so since I've done it a nice line goes right across it and it's ticked off on your checklist as something that you've already done and you can add an alarm this is something I forgot so if I share a board link with somebody and they check something off a list or complete a task for me or complete a task of their own but let me know about it, I get a notification. And a star board, basically if you have a board that you want to set as important or special, you can add a star and it's marked as important so that's your star board or a set of star boards. 
and uh, you can leave board by just leaving the board board settings uh, other stuff like all the other things the names the labels the names of the labels the checklists and that's pretty much it enjoy it try it out yourself let me know if you have any trouble in the comment section so the main cons of this app are that it is highly dependent on internet connectivity so you need to have a good wi-fi or 3g plan to use this app effectively another thing i disliked was the fact that if you have a particular task on card it cannot be overlapped into another board or topic so if you guys enjoyed this app please subscribe to the channel this is brought to you by greshoba and one network Thank you.